So I'm here in the water couch in The Hague with Dennis, um, Dennis Van Papen, Papen yeah, from um, Partners for Water. So it's nice to see you, Dennis. Um, tell me a bit about Partners for Water, what it's designed to do. Well, we're a Dutch government program and we aim to, uh, we have a, a goal which is uh, basically three legs. The um, most important leg is uh, the, uh, the positioning of Dutch, uh, the Dutch water sector abroad, um, but mainly the, uh, let's say, innovative or new technologies or methodologies. That now, are when you say sector, it's yeah. a word that gets used a lot here, but what do you, what do you mean? Is it, in, is it businesses? Is it it's not, it's non-profits? Is it government? Th- what, what, what is it? It's, it's businesses, uh, non-profit sector, uh, knowledge institutes, yeah. but also governmental agencies. Yeah. So it's, uh, we look at the water sector in a very broad way. Okay, so we, I mean, ACVO, so where I work, is we, we, we've benefited from investments and partner for, partners for water in the past. And um, how, I mean, what kind of, well, sort of what, what size of funds do you, do you manage and what, what, what sort of things do you, do you look to invest in? Well, we're not very big. Uh, we have a budget of approximately 10 million a year. Um, and we invested uh, in three ways. One, we have, um, let's say, a subsidy scheme. Uh, with two tender procedures a year, and their uh, organizations from the Dutch water sector, be it NGOs, be it companies, be it government agencies, water boards, jointly can uh, submit project proposals to promote and position their technologies or methodologies in one of the 26 startup countries. Yeah. Um, another another um, thing that we have is uh, we, we support the Dutch Global Water Program with our funding, and in that program, the, the Netherlands is um, deepening bilateral relations on Delta technology with five Deltas worldwide. That's uh, in Indonesia, uh, Lowlands uh, on Java, uh, in Vietnam, the Mekong Delta, uh, Mozambique, uh, Bangladesh Delta, and uh, now Delta in Egypt. Yeah. And um, there we are mainly designing top-down uh, projects uh, where we involve, again, the Dutch water sector. Uh, but those projects are, are forthcoming from um, uh, policy that's being made by, uh, by the ministries that yeah. are involved in the program. Now, I, 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 my experience of, of working with the Dutch, because I'm, I'm a Brit, has been the, it, it has a, the, they have a sort of different approach to investment, say, to American, to, to American investors. Um, uh, but I wondered if you could give me some sense of the characteristics of the kind of, in, the, the kind of approach you take. Uh, as, as a program or as a Dutch water sector? Well, as a, as a sector. Uh, as a sector, I think uh, what's very distinctive is um, that um, the Dutch are very, first of all, very much interested in, um, in establishing relations and good relations with, um, um, with their counterparts in other countries. Uh, second of all, they're much, very much looking into durable solutions, uh, environmental friendly solutions. Um, and I think a very distinctive uh, characteristic is the fact that we always try to involve multiple stakeholders, yeah. multiple levels, um, and um, we're very sensitive to that. And that's also because we have learned from our own experience that that's very important to have a, very, have a successful water management in your own country. So I think that th- those are the most, um, well, from my experience, I've been working on for the program for six years. Uh, that's what, uh, what stood out for me mainly, mostly. Yeah. So we're here at the, uh, at the high level multi-stakeholder event today. Um, that's a very grand term for something that I, I, I wonder if, are you finding, is, are things changing in attitudes towards investment towards, or what do you think is going to come out of today? Or, or where are we at in terms of attitudes towards investment in water? Uh, towards investment in water? Uh, well, to be very honest with you, I think that uh, we're, we're still not making a lot of progress, uh, to be honest. If you, if, if, from my experience in different countries with vulnerable deltas, for example, you see that the, 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 the investments, especially from a, a national government side, uh, are often at a second place compared to investments in um, metros or railways or other type of infrastructure. Um, and the, the, the awareness of the importance of protecting your land, your people, uh, your, your economical assets, um, it's often put on, on, on the longer term, it's coming in the second place. And only when a disaster strikes, only then uh, something is being done. Yeah. But even then, it takes usually a year for that awareness to stay, but then it it ebbs away again, it, fall, it flows away again. And uh, I think what makes us distinctive as Dutch that we 
are able also from our experience to have long-term planning and make long-term investments, even though we didn't have any major floods in 50 years. Yeah. Well, it's great to meet you, and uh, I hope today goes well for you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you very much.